Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a raster image, so like this JPEG, into an object mosaic in Illustrator. So that means that we're going to be making every single one of these pixels into an individual object, which we can modify, we can move, we can change the color, and we can basically edit, because right now we can't. So before we get started, if you have any questions, suggestions, or tutorial requests, make sure that you write them in the comments below and we'll get on them as soon as we can. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File and Place, and we're going to go to the folder that holds our raster image. So right here, I just have a JPEG image of a uh, image I made earlier in another tutorial. The link will be in the sidebar. And we're going to press Place. And that's going to put this image right here. Next thing we have to do is we have to embed this image by pressing Embed. So now it's part of Illustrator. Then we're going to click on our image. We're going to go to Object and then Create Object Mosaic. And the screen's going to pop up right here. It's going to give us our current size and our new size. We want those to be identical. By default, they are. And then you're going to have options for tile spacing and the number of tiles. Now, the tile spacing is going to be the spacing between each one of these little bits. So if you, there's a one pixel spacing, then there's going to be a one pixel board around there. I'll show you in a moment. And the number of tiles, well, that's going to depend on how many divisions we want our image to be. Now, if you have a large image, you can set this to an arbitrary number. Uh, you can use a ratio by clicking this button and it'll make sure that you keep your same ratio. But in this case, we can count the pixels. So we're just going to count them quickly. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times two wide. So that's 16 and the height will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it will be 16 by 15 tiles. Next, we keep our constraint ratio the same as this one and the result we want it to be colored rather than grayscale. The last thing you want to check off right here is make sure that you delete the raster. This makes sure that this thing is not saved uh, after, well, the image is not saved in your Illustrator file after you modify it. And then you just hit OK, like so. And as you see, you have this grid right here. So the next thing you do, you right click and go ungroup. Now, if we select any object, we move it around, we see that every single object is individual. So if we want to modify it, for instance, we want to make these now rounded, uh, we want to turn these into circles, all we got to do is we need to go to Effect, Stylize, and then Round Corners. And around 10 pixels for this case is fine. Go to Preview to see, hit OK, and there we have it. If we want to change the color of any of these objects, all we do is we go to our Magic Wand tool, we click the color that we want to change, for instance, the black, Let's turn this into a blue border, like so. And there we have it. Now we change those colors. Now I'm just going to show you quickly what it looks like. There we go. What it looks like to uh, have tile spacing. It gives a different effect. So we go to object again, create object mosaic. And we're going to put the tile spacing to, hmm, let's say about two on the width, just to see what it looks like. And save everything else, hit OK. And that's the kind of effects you can have. Vertical lines like that, or again, object mosaic, tile spacing, two on the height, like so. So it gives different types of effects. You have to play with it because there's no, unfortunately there's no preview, but it's pretty simple. And if we put them equal, two by two, hit okay, like so. So you can play with that to your heart's delight. So I hope you like that tutorial. Pretty simple, cool effect. Um, yeah, if you like this tutorial, make sure you hit like, subscribe, check out our other videos, and of course, as usual, have a great day.